Hey everyone, Dan Bernard here with another tutorial. Today I wanna to show you how you can save custom templates in Adobe Audition for your projects. Adobe Audition comes with a bunch of templates that you can try out for yourself. If you go to File, New, Multitrack, you can actually base your project off of a template here. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make your very own. For this particular tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use a template for something like a intro to a podcast or maybe an intro to your YouTube channel or something like that. Hopefully you can build your own custom template for your own projects and get stuff done a lot faster. So currently in my project, I have a simple voiceover and some music. And this is the voiceover and music that my friend Casey and I use for our podcast. And if you didn't know that we have a podcast, welcome to knowing. We have a podcast that we put out every couple weeks or so called the Video Dog Pound Podcast. You can find that either on SoundCloud or on iTunes. We cover a lot of cool stuff, mostly nerdy post-production things. And if that's something you're interested in, then please check it out and let us know what you think. So these are the elements that we've used for the outro piece of our podcast. And I'm gonna use this just to quickly show you how to make your own templates. First off, here is the voiceover. For more information on Wave Brigade, ground control color, or Fangs film gear, go to rthstudios.com. And then here is our music track. For more information on Wave Brigade, Ground Control Color, or Fangs Film Gear, go to rthstudios.com. So I need to blend these two to make a nice outro piece. And I'm gonna use the uh, end part of the music here. So I'm gonna hit C for cut and cut that piece. Delete that. information on Wave Brigade. I'm just going to fade this in, cut that, and fade this out. For more information on Wave Brigade, ground control color, or things film here, go to rthstudio.com. So from this point here, I would do some sweetening to these clips to put some polish, put some finish on it to make it sound a little better. I've actually gone over a lot of those tips in a previous tutorial, and you can find a link to that specific tutorial by clicking here on the screen right now, or looking in the description below. Once I've gotten to a point where I'm happy with the edit and everything sounds really good, you wanna go up to File, Export, and then Save Session as Template. And I'll call this Podcast Outro, and then hit OK. So now if I go to File, New, Multitrack Session, you'll see that Podcast Outro is now a selectable option. And if I select that and then hit OK, you'll see it brings up everything exactly the way I left it. And now if I wanted to bring in my podcast audio content, I can just drag that in. I don't have to rebuild the outro over and over and over again. It now just saves it here in Adobe Audition as a template. Now I've used this template process in all types of different Adobe platforms like Premiere, After Effects, Photoshop, and certainly Audition is no exception. They're very useful and they can help you be way more efficient about getting projects done. So if you're a content creator and you're looking to streamline the process of building your videos for YouTube or your audio project for your podcast or whatever you're doing, make sure you're using templates to be as efficient as possible. And if you like this video, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have any questions or comments about anything I've covered here, go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. And of course, if you wanna see more audio post-production tutorials in the future, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Once again, my name is Dan Bernard and thanks for stopping by.